What is up YouTube and welcome to this Batman Comics and Green Arrow video. So this week has been a very stacked week for comics. A lot of stuff I actually want to read. We've got a new Secret Empire, we've got Batman, Green Arrow, Justice League and of course Superman as well along with the Royals as well, the Inhuman storyline which I can't stop reading Inhumans even though I don't like them. I guess I just like to know what's going on in the wider universe. But here we are. Hell yeah! This is a Kite Man origin story. Now, I knew that Kite Man would feature more in the upcoming issues of Batman. Obviously, we had Batman's, um, or sorry, Kite Man's father, who was the one who actually kills Swamp Thing's father which we saw Kite Man get involved in that as well, in The Brave and The Mold, which are fantastic. Possibly one of the greatest issues of Batman I have ever read. But here we have got the origin of the Kite Man as we have an interlude during the War of Jokes and Riddles. Now, we've had a couple of issues of the War and Jokes and Riddles so far. However, the interlude, in my opinion, has proven to be the best issue. Hell yeah! Kite Man here showing the origin of this very, very niche Batman villain. Now, Kite Man here, we I didn't know that this was actually an origin story for Kite Man. I mean, I was going in, I hadn't read the previews for this issue. I was reading it, I was very nicely surprised. I thought this was just a normal henchman. And very interestingly, we actually learn that Kite Man was involved in the creation of the Jokermobile, which is absolutely crazy. And one thing I love about this story here is that, well, we've got Batman doing his best. The last couple of issues, we've had Batman do his absolute best to save the city and save the people involved. And in this issue, is no exception, as we've got Batman always on the back foot. Here, we think that Batman is going to save someone, but Kite Man's kid was ready to fall due to the Riddler, and here it just didn't work it just we did not have batman get a win this day it just did not work one bit for him which was heartbreaking to see and we see the origin of this character we think that well he's a victim his son's a victim of this huge war that is going on but he decides to become an ally of the joker so he actually draws a line in the sand wants to get revenge Batman has promised him to get revenge, but Kite Man, and as a father, or who has a father who has lost their child, he has gone on a warpath, creates this outfit, this huge weapon, and that is it. He is ready to take on and join the Joker's side. And it's a very tragic storyline here, an origin of this character who was not the best father in the world, but he loved his son, and that that, my friends, is what turned him into this comical villain. And I've got to say, the artwork in this was just superb. I love the fact, this new look for the Joker, this origin, this early version of the Joker, this early version of the Riddler as well. It just looks so good. I mean, this was a story. The last few issues have been kind of kind of personal, but it's it's kind of a big, big kind of i would say looking across everything however here this was a an issue and a story which was very self-contained very personal towards one character but it was just stunning hell yeah what an absolute badass could comic this was i absolutely loved it from cover to cover every speech bubble just a really 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 good story and it is really one worth picking up if you haven't picked it up it's one to add to collection it is essentially the origin of kite man here and tom king has done something which i think is uh very commendable he's made kite man look really really good so the rest of the issue was we have the war heating up but this was very much an interlude to tell this origin story so Really, really fun read. A tragic, heartbreaking issue, which was accentuated by the fantastic artwork. But we are back. I think we've got... I'm not too sure if this interlude is carrying on, because we've actually got part one of Kite Man. So this was part one. I'm not too sure if the interlude will continue on in the next issue, if we will carry on having the story with Kite Man. Not too sure, but it will be fun to see if we do see that 
origin continue and that last panel was really really cool but that is it for that comic review moving on to green arrow now i did do a video on green arrow ninth circle possibly coming to the tv show of arrow speculating that i reckon they could come to the show however here we've got our hard traveling hero running again the team up against the flash and of course green arrow himself was pretty decent we we have it end in this issue and we learn that all signs point to lex corp now lex corp are somehow involved with the ninth circle which is completely unsurprising of course in new 52 lex luther is really really a good guy but will we learn that lex corp is not actually good and well that would be in, that'd be really cool I would be really happy to see that we learn, finally learn, and get the origins of an evil Lex Luthor and what are his motivations for it. But here we have a really, really some powerful panels where we see Green Arrow kind of stand up for his social justice. Very, very liberal here, of course. And he says a great, some great lines saying that this isn't a fortress, this country isn't a business. It is supposed to be an icon. And we learn that the Ninth Circle have set up the senator that he is or is idolizing this person who is sowing the seeds of all of this kind of discord for and wants to actually bring justice to the country well they that person was built up by the ninth circle just to be brought down so the ninth circle are involved in absolutely everything and their sphere of influence is going beyond really really beyond seattle aka star city now and beyond as well the black hole and right into metropolis which i expect and i love the fact that wonder woman appeared in this issue showing that they don't the it's not the way the heroes do things they don't torture but i love the fact that arrow or oliver queen said that well you take you and boy scout take things to the next level i mean i mean green arrow may be a liberal but they're taking things to the next extreme which is a nice little call out there and I love the fact that by the end, Wonder Woman actually learns to like him. Same with Barry Allen. <laughs> the Justice League don't like him at all, but he's making them like him by being who he is now and really setting out on this new leaf, which I thought was really nice. It was a really good issue. I'm really excited to see where we head to. I expect Superman will pop up here in Metropolis. Of course, he has to. It, it, I mean, it, it makes sense. We've had The Flash. We've had Wonder Woman. And I expect probably after Lex Corp, we might head to Gotham. I'm not too sure, but I'm excited to see where that goes. So that's it. I would highly recommend picking up both these comics. If you haven't read the this issue of Green Arrow, I'd highly recommend picking up the issue before and the one before it, just so you know what's going on. So that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.